this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air was one of the most popular series of the 1990s. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, with its renowned cast and outstanding episodes, will be one of the most watched series for generations to come. Don Cheadle rose to popularity on the first season of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air before becoming the critically acclaimed actor recognized for his earnest performance, franchise contributions, and comedic characters since the late 1990s. Cheeto portrayed Ice Trey, Will's closest friend from West Philadelphia who comes to visit the homesick protagonist. Cheeto's involvement with this one episode created a lasting effect on the showrunners and the TV executives. In today's video, you will learn about the loss, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air spinoff. Before we start today's video, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. The episode in question was the fifth episode of the first season titled Homeboy Sweet Homeboy. Don Cheadle's character Ice Trey was praised in this episode for the theme he added to Will's story. Will, in particular, had the power of his extended family's witches to depart West Philly at the time, while Trey didn't. Ice Trey immediately became a fan favorite, and the show creators recognized both Cheadle's charisma and the story that his character brought to the table as well as the connection between Smith and Cheeto. This episode received an average of 22.7 million viewers on NBC. Before the episode aired, the show producers offered him a spin-off show called In the House that was focused on Ice Trade life in West Philly and for which Cheeto recorded the theme song. The pilot episode of the show aired on July 1st, 1991. Cheeto described how he got a spinoff with Uprise. Cheeto added that they rehearsed all week and they was due to shoot the show live in front of a live audience on Thursday, but he was offered a spinoff show that morning. The show palette was shot and it was a greedier, more raw version of the original show. But NBC, they didn't take it for unknown reasons. Cheeto revealed why the show was never picked up on the Jennifer Hudson show on December 9th, 2022. Yeah, I was on, I think, the fifth episode yeah. of the show. And um, by the fifth episode, they just loved the chemistry between Will and I. And uh, the producers came to me and said, we want to do a show uh, for you mm -hmm. that will be right on after The Fresh Prince. And we developed it and we actually shot the pilot. And um, at that time, there was a guy who ran NBC named Brandon Tartikoff. And he got sick. and and had to leave and the new guy came in and as they do like killed all of his the old stuff mm -hmm. so the show never went on the air but it was gonna air right after the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air it would have been a whole different who knows what would have happened Man. I may have made it I may have been a star who I knows? wish we could have seen Cheetah also said in another interview that he was dating Hillary Banks actor Karen Parsons which explains why Hillary and Trey clicked so immediately while Ice Trey's spinoff would have been an interesting chance to get a glance into folks that Will left behind in West Philly such as Jackie, his mother, or the person that Will got into a fight with in the opening credits, this spinoff series kind of contradicts the character of Ice Trey. In the pilot, Trey was returning home for college, 
and he was on the Dean's list. Yet in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Trey was presented as a kid with no guidance. And now he miraculously finished college. I mean, in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he has been quoted saying, School man, I don't bother it and it don't bother me. You don't go to school, Ice Trey? Oh, sure I do. I've been held back in the 10th grade three times in a row. <laughs> yeah, see, my motto is, when I find a grade I like, I stick with it. <laughs> The network canceled the show later that year, but they utilized the title for LL Cool J's 1995 series of the same name. It's odd that the character was never brought back over the six seasons of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Considering that Ice Trey one-off episode was positive enough to garner him a spinoff, 